Hello, good evening. It's News 360 coming to you live from the news up here at Tadesa Wekanda. I am Portia Gabo. And I am Martin Asiedu Date. Here are the headlines. And Parliament is a house of rules and regulations. Whether you are a master of your own game or not, a first term in the house will land you at the backbench unless there is a rare occasion. In this report, Evelyn Tinma examines the qualifications and potential of a backbencher to speak on the floor of Parliament. Backbenchers are members of parliament who sit at the back seats in the chamber. Most MPs, including those in leadership, started as backbenchers. Deputy Minority Whip Ahmed Ibrahim shares his story as a backbencher. The first time that I came, I didn't speak in my first year. I could not be given the opportunity. I was a backbencher. I was sitting behind the pillar. It was in the second year that we were doing State of the Nation. And I had to beg Rashid Pepu. He was the deputy majority leader. That me, even though I'm young and I'm a backbencher, you look at my face and say, okay, you wait. Morning, before prime time, 12 o'clock, he didn't give me opportunity. He gave the opportunity to the seniors. 1 o'clock, still seniors. 2 o'clock, seniors. So 3 o'clock, when people were tired, the media was gone, then he gave me the chance. When I got the chance, because of my confidence level, which has been boosted, when I started to say, oh, Ibrahim. I, I wish I could have given you the first slot in the morning. According to him, a first term MP will not be given the opportunity to debate on the floor except on rare occasions. You look at somebody like Ambrose Derry. The first day he came to Parliament, he was a deputy minority leader. He had been with the executive for a number of days and he had been with the judiciary as a legal practitioner, as a minister in that field before he came. So he entering, is not coming as a backbencher. But MPs gradually got promoted towards the front bench, depending on the number of years served in the House. An MP's seating position can also change towards the front if he or she is appointed a minister or deputy minister. On the minority side, a backbencher is moved forward if he or she is made a ranking member or deputy ranking of a committee. But is it true that the backbenchers are not easily recognized by the speaker to speak on the floor? Uh, those saying they don't get the opportunity to talk, I wouldn't say I'm part of it. Because uh, on several occasions, I've had the opportunity on the floor to ask questions, to make statements, even just recent. Even at committee level, we, we, we do most of the work there. And on my committee, I'm very vibrant. It's not about you not getting an opportunity or not, but it's about the fact that how you position yourself for the leadership to know that you are somebody that can rely on, somebody that you can deliver. One of my shocks when I got here at first was that I found out that it is not really that democratic, even though it's a democratic institution. It operates like a regimented institution. It's you know gives a lot of premium to seniority it is the same thing with even statesmen when they are submitted i think the only area where you don't find that segregation if i'm allowed to use that word is with question time because of this practice in parliament it is quite difficult for first timers to be heard on the floor and so it would be unfair to assess people based on um, how often they speak on the floor. The only challenge we had was that we were sitting close to the wall and you hardly hear very clearly what was transpiring at the top. But we adopted a coping mechanism. That any time at all any senior was not around, we would go to sit in front on his seat so that we could hear proceedings very well. Deputy Minority Whip said seniority and experience count when it comes to debate on national issues. If you're a first-timer, when you come, you will not get the opportunity like a senior. Because nobody knows you. And they don't know what you are going to say. So when you come the second term, that one, everybody knows your capacity, your experience, your field. Even when Papa Oswan Kaman was here and he was in opposition. Any time there was difficulty, Madam Speaker, Bamford Edu will call him. Honorable Papa, what is your mind on this? But meanwhile, Papa is sitting and they are calling him. Meanwhile, a backbencher is on his feet and nobody will call him. <laughs> a backbencher, where we are, you can't settle this issue. 
Well, is it the case that the front benches usually have an upper hand over the back benches when it comes to being heard on the floor? So, this may be a call on the constituents to consider retaining their MPs for a number of years or they keep having back benches who may always be struggling to debate on national issues on the floor of parliament and will not go beyond just filing questions to be answered by ministers and making statements on the floor. Evelyn Tengma, TV3 News, Parliament House.